Hey guys, welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do car truck SUV reviews on YouTube, and today we are in the all new 2020 BMW M235i X Drive Grand Coupe. What a name. And so, this is an all new model for 2020. It's going to be competing with cars like the Audi S3, like the Mercedes Benz CLA. And having reviewed both of those cars in the past, I am quite excited to be in this one today. So, what do you say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so, when it comes to pricing for the 2020 BMW M235i Grand Coupe, MSRP will start at $45,500. Powering this little beast will be a two liter twin power power turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 301 horsepower at 5,000 rpm 331 pound feet of torque available at around 1750 rpm that is a ton of power for the size of this thing so we will be testing out that acceleration in a little bit here but sent to all four wheels of course through bmw's x drive intelligent all-wheel drive system and that power being sent to the ground through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters again we'll be testing those out in a second here zero to 60 time bmw puts it at 4.7 seconds but BMW is a bunch of liars because in reality this thing does it in 4.4 all over the internet on YouTube everywhere so thank you BMW for the under promise and over deliver that's always a good thing in my book but top speed 130 miles per hour MPG numbers 23 in the city 32 on the highway that is quite impressive for the amount of power this thing has of course you have the auto start stop system function with this one as well which you can turn off so it's going to essentially turn the vehicle off when you stopped at a red light or a stop sign so if that annoys you just go ahead and turn off that feature but before we do any kind of acceleration or power shifter test i did want to mention there are some driving modes those driving modes are located kind of directly behind the shifter to the left they will include eco pro comfort and sport adjusting things like the shift points throttle response and the steering sensitivity so why don't we just put it in sport Whoa, and the sound, holy cow. That is the main thing I just noticed right off the bat. When you put it in sport driving mode, I was just in comfort. The sound is much, much, much more pronounced. This thing sounds like an absolute little beast with it, with it in sport driving mode, and I absolutely love it. We'll do an exhaust clip later, don't you worry. But for now, let's go ahead and put the shifter all the way to the back and to the left. That is gonna give me full control over the shifting and Let's test out the paddle shifters here, see how quickly they react for us. Let's do a little paddle shifter test here. Here we go! <laughs> Heck yeah, man. BMW always does this. They're amazing with paddle shifters. Instantaneous, it almost lunges you forward as you hit the paddle shifters. Dang, that was fun. This car is just gonna be so much fun. I, I barely even started driving this. This thing is a blast. So let me get out of paddle shift mode. I'm gonna put the shifter all the way to the back and to the right. That is gonna give full control back to the M235i here and let's find a straightaway end. Let's do a quick little acceleration in this thing. I have a feeling I'm gonna absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and do this. We are now at a complete stop. Let's uh, sport mode into the gas. We're going uphill, man. Yeah, buddy, that is definitely, definitely a very nice acceleration. So without a doubt, that is gonna put a smile on your face. So wonderful acceleration in the BMW M235i. Even more impressive, the paddle shifter. So I'd probably leave it in paddle shift mode just because I like that setup. But dang, that was a heck of an acceleration in this thing. But so anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so with the M235i Grand Coupe, you will find M Sport four wheel ventilated disc brakes. As far as the braking feel goes, this thing brings you to an immediate stop. Certainly no issues with the braking feel in this one. So that is definitely a plus. Touching on suspension and handling a little bit. Up front, you will get a double pivot strut type front suspension. In the back, multi-link independent rear suspension. Of course, with this being the M235i, you will find an M Sport tuned suspension. And I did want to mention an optional feature being dynamic damper control. That actually only adds $500. And so I put it that way because a lot of other manufacturers do jack that price up quite substantially. So I'm kind of surprised a company like BMW 
only adds an additional $500 there, but nonetheless, that is gonna give you the best of both worlds. It is gonna monitor each shock absorber individually, not only giving you a smoother ride, but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering. Again, really giving you the best of both worlds. So that is definitely an option I personally would recommend. Along with that twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers, of course, front and rear stabilizer bars, and a Torsen limited slip differential. Of course, sending torque to the wheel with the most traction. So that is gonna not only assist you with acceleration, but also heavy cornering as well. So well done BMW for that. And overall, as far as ride quality goes, it's actually been kind of surprising. It's smoother than I thought it would be, although it's definitely not the smoothest drive out there because this is definitely a sports car. So not the smoothest ride, but smoother than I thought. So kind of better than I expected to be quite honest. Steering feel is absolutely amazing, especially in that sport driving mode. Instantly points you in the direction that you wanna go. Even more so along those lines though, the steering wheel grips are mammoth and I absolutely love it. Definitely gives you a better feeling of being in control. And I know some reviewers are kind of iffy on the BMW steering wheel grips. Some people think it's a little too large and in charge, but I actually absolutely love them. I always say this, even when I review other manufacturers, BMW has my favorite steering wheel grips of any other vehicles out there. So that is definitely a huge plus for me at least. Cabin noise is pretty much as expected, so no surprises there. Touching on visibility as I am looking at my frameless rear view mirror, love that. I can see perfectly fine out the back. Usually any sedan or any grand coupe, you should not have any issues with visibility whatsoever. Also, in addition to that, you will find rain sensing windshield wipers coming standard on this one. Meaning when the BMW starts to detect rainfall or mist, they will turn on automatically for you there so one less thing you have to worry about so you can better focus more of your attention on enjoying the drive that's always a good thing and going one step further even when it comes to visibility i am looking at a head-up display that is available with the premium package by the way but that is going to give you your speed limit of any given road as well as how fast you are going and some safety information as well so that is definitely a big old plus in my book too but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this all new 2020 BMW M235i xDrive Grand Coupe. What a name. All right, so here she is, you guys. In case you were curious of the exterior color on this particular one we have today, it is called Storm Bay Metallic. It is a $1,200 option if you were interested. It definitely looks good though. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front here. Active kidney front grille with bronze accents will come standard. And you can find aerodynamic vents in that front bumper once again with bronze accents. And yes, there's aerodynamic vents. There's a couple different areas of ventilation there in the front bumper, but they are all functional though. So they do direct air around the wheel entire combination. It's a little better aerodynamics there. LED headlights with LED daytime running lights coming standard. Adaptive front lights lighting system coming with the premium package, meaning when you're going around a bend at night, those headlights will swivel based on your steering angle, better help illuminating what is around that bend, so you're less likely to hit a deer or a squirrel or whatever. We have a lot of those here in Pennsylvania. Gloss black front lip coming standard, and I did want to mention there is a package that basically turns all these bronze accents into black accents if you are interested, although of course we don't have that today. Then make your way to the side of this one, gloss black side skirts and window surrounds will come standard standard. Once again, bronze mirror caps, kind of to tie in with the front of it, of course. And like I was mentioning before, there is a shadow line exterior package for $500 that turns all of those bronze accents black. But for what we have today, we do have bronze mirror caps and they are power adjustable heated side mirrors with LED integrated turn signals as well. And I take a look down at the wheel setup, 18 inch M design, double five spoke alloy wheels will come standard. They actually come standard with all season run flat tires. And of course there are 19 inch wheel designs available if you wanted to go that route. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the back on this one. Shark fin antenna coming standard up top there. Body colored rear spoiler coming standard in the back. And again, there is a gloss black rear spoiler if you were to go with that shadow line package at least. Of course, you have the M badging back there. LED taillights coming standard as expected. And just below it all, dual exhaust outlets with bronze or black tips. Again, depending on what package you go with. But we do have those bronze tips, of course. But anyways, I think you guys know what we have to do next. This this is probably going to be an amazing sounding exhaust clip. I don't know. I haven't heard it yet, but as always, here is that exhaust clip. All 
needs to know since we are round back there are a few different ways you can go about opening the rear trunk on this one there is a button on the key fob simply press that if you like there is also a button on the driver's side door that is yet another way and there is a rubberized button on the trunk itself that is yet another way you can go about opening that rear trunk but once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 12 cubic feet even so that is a decent amount of space for the size of this thing but if that was not enough space however there is a 40 20 40 split meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it then make our way to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 34.4 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there I did want to also mention for those rear passengers they will find rear ventilation as well as a rear center armrest with cup holders so overall not the most space back there but again for reference this is actually me sitting behind my own driving position and again i'm an even six feet tall so i will say i was able to fit but then make your way to the front seats 10-way power adjustable front seats will come standard and that includes two-way power side bolsters as well you don't see that on every vehicle out there driver memory settings for up to two different drivers found on the driver's side door there and four-way power lumbar actually for both front seats so that's definitely a plus as well one of the cool things about these seats though is the color selection you can of course get a black leather which is what you're looking at right now but also other colors include magma red which is pretty cool mocha and oyster which is a light leather so you do have a few different color options i always like to mention that but if you wanted heated front seats that is going to come with the premium package and you can get m sport seats for an additional 750 dollars if you wanted to go that route then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping and it is leather wrapped of course and it will come heated if you were to go with the premium package that we have and that heated steering wheel button is located just above the m designation found at the bottom there so that is definitely a plus on super freezing cold days in pennsylvania like today but when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. Since we do have the M235i, we do have the M colors on the one side of the key, but all of your buttons are going to be found on one side. Lock, unlock the button to pop the rear hatch. And by the way, the BMW button in the middle, that is going to be your lock button in case you were curious. But of course, this one will come with a push button start. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button, which is located just to the left of the shifter there. And so once started up, tachometers on your right, speedometer on your your left if you wanted the 8.8 .8 inch instrument cluster the digital one that you're looking at right now that is actually going to be available with a package option that's going to include the digital gauge cluster and navigation that goes for eleven hundred dollars but that is how you were going to get what you were currently looking at of course navigation being displayed front and center in the middle of it all gives you your speed limit at the very bottom how many miles you have left until you hit empty pretty much your basics but a very nice looking digital gauge cluster up there Touching on overall interior quality, panoramic moonroof goes for $1,350. That is what you're looking at right now. Anthracite headliner coming standard. Illuminated Boston trim coming standard. And you can get a wireless phone charger, which is located directly in front of the cup holders. That is going to add $500 there. Universal garage door opener, that adds $200. That is one I would recommend. And by the way, we do have that. It is found at the bottom of this frameless rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors. So that's definitely a plus. You don't have to worry about the rattle garage door opener on your sun visor that's why i like it at least dual zone climate control coming standard auto dimming rear view mirror as well and ambient lighting also coming standards that's definitely a big plus but overall gotta admit i wouldn't have minded a different interior color other than black but still a very nice finish to this one this is a bmw it's pretty much as expected there is a usb charging port directly in the middle of the cup holders that worries me ever so slightly just in case you spill a drink i wouldn't want any of the liquid going in that usb charging port but other than that you have an electric mechanical parking brake directly behind the shifter opening the center armrest here there's a phone charger in there and i really like how they incorporated the speakers into the door here just kind of around the power window buttons but i'll get more into the sound system later and we're going to test that out too but i do like that design wise they incorporated it into that but taking a look now at the tech display on this one 8.8 .8 inch color touchscreen display of course it has to be 8.8 .8 inch to match the digital gauge cluster and by the way this display screen can be operated by again touchscreen or there is a circular dial and buttons directly to the right of the shifter and it can be also voice controlled and there is gesture control available for an additional one 
$190. And that's probably one of my favorite options. I always like to test out when I'm in a BMW. You can turn the radio up and down by simply scrolling your finger in a circular or counterclockwise motion. It is, it's pretty darn cool, I gotta admit. But Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard on that. Apple CarPlay as well. I could not find Android Auto in this anywhere though to save my life for some reason, but it does have Apple CarPlay though factory navigation system again coming with that $1,100 optional package with the digital gauges and of course like I was mentioning the radio settings you could check out up there and by the way when it comes to the sound system you will find 10 speakers with 205 watts coming standard however there is an optional $875 16 speaker Harman Kardon surround sound system that we have today and by the way the sound system that we have has 464 watts which doesn't sound like a ton but I have a feeling it is going to do just fine considering the size of this vehicle so what do you say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what i got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one ridiculous amount of bass you guys definitely a perfect sound system for the m235i crank coupe without a doubt so also again i like the speaker placement i like that you can see the speaker through the cover on the driver's side door here overall heck of a sound system so no issues there but last thing i wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is when you do put the m235i in reverse of course you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so to start front side side curtain airbags will come standard along with driver and front passenger knee airbags as well it doesn't come standard on every vehicle out there in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats also tire pressure monitoring system but also standard is going to include forward collision warning with city collision mitigation lane departure warning speed limit recognition and a blind spot monitor that blind spot monitor doesn't always come standard on every vehicle out there so that's definitely a plus adaptive cruise control can be added for $1,200 if you wanted to go that route and with that package you will also get autonomous emergency braking as well and so that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and I will see you guys all in the next video stay go Hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore